channel. Today we're gonna be working on my STEM project for my school. Shall we get started? Yes, but let's catch people up a little bit first. We play a lot of D&D, aka Dungeons and Dragons. Dice rolls determine both surprising victories and random failures. So with this STEM project, we set out to see if probability is really, well, probable. To test, we'd need hundreds of rolls, all of them recorded. To do this, we need a little help. crunched the numbers. Strangely, the D4 had one number come up more than any other, the number two. Of 75 rolls, 25 were the number two. The top roll for the D6 was the number five, accounting for 21 of 66 rolls, also almost a third. The D8 had six as its most popular result, showing up 16.6% .6 of the time. The D12 had a top number of two, the D20 top rolls were 12 and 20, tied at 11% each. The D100 had a tie for the most common roll as well, the number 84 and the number 100. Inconceivably, of the four people that rolled 100, two of them were brothers. If you're these boys' mom, you brought a 1 in 10,000 possibility to the STEM fair. Makes you wonder. Is it all random, or are there fantastic forces at work here? 